To get my position, I kind of had to be a jack of all trades. I had to know a little bit of everything because I do a little bit of everything. From graphic design, which is my main background, some of my graphic work that you'll see um, regularly is the lobby displays down in the lobby. I all do like the holiday posters to let you know the building will be closed. To printing, mounting, cutting, setting up, rewiring, troubleshooting. I do a little bit of everything. I'm even IT 101 sometimes. There's a lot of heavy lifting in my job. I have to lift speakers and stuff in and out of the van for events. To, to be able to do this, I have to work out at least three times a week, lifting weights and, and getting fit for my position. Normally my position is occupied by males. I'm the first female here at District 4 to hold the audiovisual title, possibly even the first female statewide. Some of my hobbies include DIY type things. I've been known to lay laminate flooring. I've poured concrete countertops. I've even shingled a roof. Most of the tools at my house, they're not my husband's, they're mine. When I started my position, I was supposed to have training. Unfortunately, two months in, my coworker got called on union leave. So I had to learn a lot on my own. It's a little bit nerve wracking whenever you're in the middle of a set and something's wrong and you're working through troubleshooting and you look up and there's a room full of people staring at you as you're trying to figure everything out. I've gotten a lot better at fixing things on the fly. I still have a lot to learn, but I'm learning a lot. The hardest part about my job is the commute. I drive from Antelope to Oakland to come into the office. That's 100 miles. Sometimes the traffic is okay and it takes an hour and a half, but other times it takes over three hours. Sometimes while driving, I think about a comment that my husband made to me when struggling with this commute. He had told me that oftentimes you like your, your boss or your coworkers, or you like your job. But here at, in my current position, I like all three and it makes it worth the drive to come out, to have the, the team, the family, my work family that I work with daily, makes that drive worth it. I do this all because at the end of the day, I'm just a mom. I just wanna provide for my kids and make sure they have everything they need. college, I was dead set on taking up painting, but my brother uh, told me, hey, you should take up advertising instead, because uh, if you're not famous in painting, you'll have no money. So <laughs> I took up advertising, which I did not regret, because it made me unique as an artist. The job that I did at Warner Brothers uh, prepared me for the work that I do here at Caltrans in many, many ways. Uh, it helped hone a good work ethic. Uh, there was lots of pressure to perform creatively and efficiently, uh, as well as to be able to adapt to different kinds of work uh, with little to no supervision so that you're trusted to uh, do your job. And uh, that has allowed me to do well here at Caltrans. Uh, working for Caltrans uh, in the graphics department is a great experience for me because this is my dream job and this is what I went to school for. I started as a printer and was hired as a graphic designer and uh, it has a little bit of everything. Like Just like in an ad agency, it has uh, all the departments like uh, photography, uh, video and uh, printing. So if you're looking for a job as a graphic designer, this is the place to be. It's my dream job. I love it here.
I strongly encourage any and everyone to apply at Caltrans. There's a certain sense of security working here. Uh, there's variety in the work that you do, and it's fun. Caltrans really is a great place to work. Uh, as a television specialist, I shoot and edit videos for Caltrans. Uh, we make a lot of construction videos. Um, I got the opportunity to work on uh, the construction of the New Bay Bridge and uh, uh, Devil's Slide Tunnels, Caldecott Fort Worth Project, Benicio Martinez Bridge, just to name a few. I get to meet and interview a lot of public officials. I work with the Caltrans engineers and public information officers to, on a variety of projects, for example, groundbreaking, ribbon cutting, and training videos. I started working for Caltrans in 1989, right before Loma Prieta earthquake. I was in the photography department, and then I was offered a job as the video person in AV graphics. You know, my dream going to Hollywood has really it, it's been diminished because I really get a lot of satisfaction working at Caltrans, doing it all. I get to wear many hats. I get to write the script or collaborate on it. I get to shoot interviews and shoot the B-roll. I get to edit the film, color correct, play with the music, play with the sound. You get to do it all here, and it's very satisfying as a filmmaker. In Hollywood, you only get to do one of those particular um, skills. If you have a dream, go for it. Sooner or later, you will get there. Caltrans has been good to me. I've been working for Caltrans over 20 years as a television specialist, and I love my job. And I'm sure if you get a chance to uh, come in and, and work as a television specialist, you will love to. All the best. I'm on the cusp of retiring from Caltrans as a television specialist. I've been here for 33 years. It's been great. And I've seen a lot of changes. It's been an adventure and it's been fun. I really hope that whoever comes in, a young, fresh talent, finds it as exciting as I have and finds that there are challenges in industrial video that are equal to anything out there and I wish you all the best of luck. <laughs>